Okay, you peach friends, here they come. I've often said if he was a stick of rock and you cut him in half, it would say Brentford all the way round. Goal number one, David Rea. Number two, Aaron Hickey. Number five, Ethan Pinnock. He just is Brentford. My name's Peter Gillen, I'm club ambassador and I'm also a match day announcer and I've been doing that for now 53 years, which is the longest in the UK. OK, folks, we've got a, a number of messages, so let's go for it now. Happy birthday to Eunice Leach, and that's... 1969. A friend of mine asked me if I would actually take over the PA because he didn't have enough time to do it. I've been doing it ever since. It is my life, to be honest, as my wife will back as well. He's just an ordinary fan who gets a little bit noisy at times. The voice, you cannot forget the voice, especially when he yells out, come on, Brentford. Come on, you bees! Come on, Brentford! Come on, you bees! Come on, Brentford! <laughs> I've never tried that before. I sit at the back of the press box now. Is a 10 yard run that I can sort of run down, and celebrate the goal. Yeah! Yeah! Then I had to get my breath back so I can announce who the goal scorer is. He scored for Brinkman, Brian Pembulo! Most special moment for me in the job. I feel really proud that I was able to announce Christian Eriksen when he made his comeback. It's a worldwide moment. And when we won promotion to the Premier, Pontus Janssen said to me early in the season, if we get to Wembley, you will lift the trophy with me. And I did lift that trophy. For him to remember that he'd said that to me, it just absolutely blew me away, it blows me away now. To see him there amongst all those wonderful players, because believe you me, they're my heroes too. To see him with them as an equal, uh, that was that was really that was really proud. Yeah, really proud moment. When I got prostate cancer, the support I got from fans was just incredible. And one fan decided he wanted to get a banner, which they then paraded around the pitch. The amount of love, phone calls, everything. Absolutely blown away that people would think that strongly about, you know, about me, deeply about me, that they wanted to do that. That made me very emotional. Final score, Brentford 2, West Ham United 0. The bond he has with lots and lots of players, it is remarkable to see, to be honest. He did have a very close relationship with Saeed Benrahma. Saeed lost his father, so he took Peter and Thomas Frank sort of like surrogate dads. When he comes here, he will give him the most gorgeous hug. It means everything to him. I love the club. I love what I do. I just want to keep going. There will never be another Mr Brentford. I shall be buried with a microphone in my hand.